<clears throat> hey Ellie, um, so today we are going to be working on loose leash walking fundamentals. So it's not actually walking just yet because I showed you a little bit of her at, at um, Lowe's. But what we're working on are the fundamentals. These are going to be things that I really want you to focus on and just get her to get the rhythms of, get her to get the communication of start to teach her what we actually want on walks and kind of get her into the habit of doing these things. She's already doing it right now. Okay, I'm gonna explain a little bit about what I want from her because she's gonna be growing like a weed. Uh, we've been watering her and giving her lots of food um, that you packed up very nicely for us, so thank you. Um, she's already kind of put on a few LBs, so. Let's just talk about what I'm doing here. I got her on a slip lead. This is a very gentle slip lead. It's really thick, so it doesn't hurt her. And it starts to kind of get her used to, good. When she's biting at the leash, which every puppy does, getting her used to not doing that with a good drop. Um, and I'm using these very medium value, very medium uh, value uh, treats. They're called Charlie Bear. I get them on Amazon all the time. They're great. Easy on the stomach, low in calories. So for her, I know that's gonna be very important. So what I'm working on with her is remember having my training box right here or my training bubble, whichever term you wanna use is fine. Getting her in the zone to be able to follow that. Let's go. Good, so see how she's pulling back. What I wanna get ready for her to do is to be able to know that she can't cross right here. So let me show you again working on the heel which I'm gonna to get to in a bit and make sure to let her know that that's where I want her to stop sit sit it says no so don't recommend pushing it any further than that that just means that we weren't successful that time good see and now she is successful so just try again what I always do. I don't get frustrated. I don't get upset. I just try and try again. Good. So this is teaching her right now on these walks with me that she needs to do that. So since you already know that skill set that, we, that you mentioned on Friday when she was dropped off, working on that with me good keeps her right here okay so it's getting her in that rhythm of turning with me good if she stays locked in to what I need her to do so if she gets older she's gonna be loose leash like she is right now the low threshold area always want you to practice on low threshold areas before you move on to anything a little more um, demanding in terms of that in terms of thresholds because like you saw how she was at low she's just pulling 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 excited 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 so what she's doing here let's move on now let's move on to this back leg here i really my big thing i have a pet peeve with dogs i don't like them crossing behind me so i always try to get them used to clocking that now she's not looking at it too much but what I like to do is if they start to get crossed up, I don't go ahead, I don't pull them back one way or the other like that. So what I do, always just kind of wait. Let her figure it out. Good, and you see she's, she's a pro, okay? Like she's a pro at this already. So I want you to practice this for about five minutes at a time with me, good. All right, so let's do a nice little mock up here. So with me is essentially means heel in the, uh, in the realm of this uh, training video. Come on, with me, good. And I think that makes more sense, honestly, to our brains now. I mean, heel seems so old fashioned. I don't think people really realize what it is. I mean, who says that? Oh yeah, you know. Uh, but if you're saying with me, it has such a positive cadence coming out of your mouth rather than heel. So I say, hit, like hut. You know, we don't want to do that. But we want to go with me. 
Good with me. Good girl. Good. She literally is with me. I'm asking her to stick with me. With me. Good. All right. So this is the mock run how I want you to do with her. Let's go. heel or turn good and she stays working on that recall I want you to be working on hand targets with her she's really tired now we've been working a lot today uh -huh. good. see I give her the space I give her the slack to start to figure it out and when she starts running behind me uh -huh. good. So see I don't have to yank her I don't pull her that's not mine that's not my vibe at all. So let's do a little review here. Biggest things you're going to want to remember for your positioning in terms of your um, footwork on this. This blocks the front. This keeps her so she doesn't cross behind you. Something she's going to try to do probably her entire life. Okay. So you're going to remember, need to remember that. And this is just kind of my dynamics on how I like to do it. Um, but I, I think that back leg is really important for that. Um, that's just the experience that I've had when it comes to dog walking. And I don't, I don't pull them, like I said. We just wait for her to figure it out on her own. But we condition her and keep her motivated this way. Good. Or you can kind of do this for a few steps. Kind of hold the carrot in front of her like this. Good really keep her focused on you here so um another short one she's she's great with this i mean so many times my training videos are a little bit longer because there's so much more to do and so much more um trial and error process but we're able to do these in about seven minutes versus ten good always reward that comeback so Great job. She really worked hard on this today. We tried to do a little bit of it at Lowe's. She wasn't really ready for it. So that's whenever I was like, look, I'm just gonna show Ellie how she's doing this way. And I'm really proud of her. So thanks a lot. We'll talk soon.